So, ladies and gents, this is some of the funniest stuff I've read in a little while, mainly just because of its framing. Will Smith's comeback attempt. Yep. He plans to regain movie star status with Bad Boys 4, Netflix is Fast and Loose, also doing an I Am Legend sequel. Uh, and Chris Rock may have, you know, kind of weed in his face on that one a little bit with his, uh, his clap back, his Netflix special. Even though, apparently Netflix has censored that joke now. What are you doing? Why are you censoring that joke? What's the issue? Ah, what a shame. But we knew this would happen anyway. He's banned from the Oscars for 10 years. Which, who cares? That means nothing to him. It means nothing to everyone else either. Uh, but apparently he, you know, was planning to... He had a whole plan, mapping it out. I'm going to become a movie star again. Is that alright? Let's check it out, shall we? So one year after the slap that shook the industry. I mean, look. We know the, we know the industry is full of fragile wet wipes. It was a slap. It shouldn't have shook the industry. What it should have done is make people realise just what a bunch of conceited, absolute bunch of arseholes that work in the industry. Uh, but Will Smith is getting ready to return to acting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here's how he plans to do it. Well, the Men in Black star has kept a mostly low profile in the 12 months since slapping presenter Chris Rock at last year's Oscar ceremony. He's now prepping... For his first acting gig since the incident that sparked headlines around the world. Uh, and a still simmering news cycle. Yeah, well, yeah, because obviously Chris Rock has now responded. And this is where it starts to throw it into disarray. So sources say Smith is looking to re-establish his commercial bona fides. Uh, and is poised to shoot Sony's Bad Boys 4. And Netflix is fast and loose back to back. He's like, shit, let's just get these movies done. I mean, seriously. Honestly, re-establish his commercial bona fides. Ugh. And again, the I Am Legend goes into that as well. So the strategy uh, would mark a pivot from his last two movies, Warner Brothers King Richard and Emancipation, which were viewed as award season plays rather than studio tentpoles. So basically, we'd go away from Oscar bait and go to <laughs> what would be considered a movie that can make money. And if it does make money, then he's basically considered a draw again. That's the idea, right? That's the idea. Now, here's the interesting stuff. So, King Richard drummed up moderate box office business. $39 million worldwide. That's terrible. Uh, it earned less than Will Smith's payday, including back ends for the film, which was $40 million. That's just what he earned. Yep. Yep. It's not good. That's not good at all. That is a that's a lose lose. Smith's paycheck ballooned after Warner Brothers decided to release King Richard in theaters at the same time it debuted on HBO Max, with the studio opting to give the star his full bonus as a make good for the change in distribution plans. Imagine being Warner Brothers now, thinking, "Fucking why did we do that?" Goodness me! And remember, remember, ladies and gents, this guy got paid forty million for that film. And he couldn't even take a joke. What a bitch. What a bitch. Uh, but even if the film's ticket sales were mediocre, King Richard did bring the Best Actor uh, Oscar trophy. Unlike Emancipation, which failed to earn any Oscar nominations, including one for Best Actor, despite Smith's $35 million payday. And he can't even take a joke. Wow, man. Wow. Wow. Holy shit. I do not think he's going to be able to command those paydays again now. $40 million and $35 million. So just in one year alone, fucking hell, $75 million. And that's that's low end of the... S I mean, he would have earned so much more money off other things as well. Goodness me. And this guy can't even take a joke. Maybe all that money you can cry into when your wife's banging your son's friend. God, that's a real thing, by the way, guys. That's not me. Just like that is genuinely what happened. His wife was banging his son's friend. Anyway, post slap, studio executives were hesitant to jump back into business with Smith, despite being one of the industry's biggest stars. He might be one of the industry's biggest stars. This is the situation with Will Smith, though, right? Is that 
I, I had a lot of respect for him because he can act sometimes. And I say a lot of respect. I had mediocre respect for him, as much of respect as I would have for just a normal actor, right? He can act and he can do some pretty good performances. Um, and because he's someone that, you know, you sort of see uh, and has been around for a long, he's like a legacy star. But he's not one of industry's biggest stars. All it is, is that he's just hung around a lot. So, yeah, there's much better people out there than him. Everyone was waiting to see who would blink first, says one high-ranking executive at a major studio who's reluctant to work with Smith just yet. It isn't so much what he did, it was what he did after. Ooh, interesting. That aligns with prevailing wisdom in town that Smith would have been better off if he'd uh, you know, been kicked out of the ceremony after charging the stage, striking rock, and then returning to his seat, accepting the best act re reward, uh, giving a speech, and then dancing at the Vanity Fair party where he was captured on video singing along to his rap hit, get, Getting Jiggy With It. The thought, however, was that time would soften attitudes. While the public has seemed to move on from Smith's shocking moment, but they haven't, realistically. It's not that much. Obviously, the normies have, but the normies don't watch the Oscars anyway, really. Uh, but the news cycle kicked back into high gear following Rock's March 4th live Netflix comedy special Selective Outrage, which eviscerated Smith and his family. Uh, this is why it might put a damper on it. This is why it's so funny. The slap definitely dinged uh, Smith's Uber in demand status, at least temporarily. One month before the Rock incident, uh, Netflix greenlit fast and loose, but the studio put the project on pause following the slap. Sources say Netflix only decided to move forward with a big budget action thriller about the leader of a criminal organization who suffers memory loss from an attack after Sony greenlit Bad Boys 4. And this is why they've now allegedly gone and censored the Netflix comedy special as well. Because they're like, ah, well, you know, <laughs> we do have a movie with it. We best uh, censor that. Netflix definitely wasn't willing to be the first studio to get back into business with Will. So there's one source familiar with the deal making. So those looking for a bargain by getting into business with a tarnished star should look elsewhere. Because he's not dropped his... He's not dropped his... Uh, he's still one of the highest paid actors uh, in Hollywood. So Smith is still getting... His 25 million quote on both Bad Boys 4 and Fast and Loose. Getting paid $50 million. What a fucking... What a bitch. Anyway, meanwhile, Smith has mostly stayed out of the public eye. Um, you know, he did, obviously, Emancipation and stuff. But now, obviously, uh, he'll be doing Bad Boys 4. Uh, and, uh, yeah. I just, what a, God, what a dig. Uh, it was two days after the wedding and Will Smith was there. He was like, what's happening? Oh, my God. LRB tells Variety. All he said, really, uh, don't worry about it. Just one tip. Don't go on social media. <laughs> oh, so funny. Anyway, this is what I mean by his his sort of comeback is now dampened. Because obviously they were all banking on him staying completely out of the public eye again. But then obviously Netflix has come out with that comedy special. But again, that will now... Um, yeah, that will put a damper on that overall and that's why they censored it let me know what you think down below this is all hilarious again uh, such a high paid gar guy just goes to share what a, well, what a wet wipe he truly is anyway hit subscribe give the video a like and do share it take care